Yo, what's up everybody? It's Audit Decoded back with another video, and today, we're diving deep into the world of IT governance and security standards. We're talking firewalls, best practices, and making sure your data is locked down tighter than Fort Knox. Specifically, we'll be comparing three of the biggest names in the game, COBIT, ISO 27001, and NEST. Think of it like a head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head battle of the titans, but instead of swords and shields, we're talking frameworks and controls. Whether you're a seasoned IT pro or just starting out, understanding these frameworks is crucial for building a secure and compliant IT environment. So, buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's break down which framework might be the perfect fit for you. First up, we've got COBIT, which stands for Control Objectives for Information and Related Technologies. This framework is designed to help organizations develop, organize, and implement strategies around information management and governance. Yeah, it's a mouthful, I know, but don't let the name intimidate you. But trust me, this framework is a heavy hitter when it comes to IT governance. It's like having a seasoned coach guiding your team to victory. Think of COBIT as the strategic mastermind, the one who helps you align your IT goals with your overall business objectives. It ensures that your IT initiatives are not just isolated projects, but integral parts of your business strategy. It's all about making sure your IT is working for you, not against you. Imagine having a well-oiled machine where every part works in harmony to achieve your business goals. We're talking about things like risk management, resource management, and performance measurement. These are critical areas where COBIT provides robust guidelines to ensure your IT operations are efficient and effective. COBIT provides a set of best practices and guidelines to help you establish a solid IT governance structure. These best practices are derived from real-world experiences and are designed to be adaptable to various organizational needs. It's like having a blueprint for success, but instead of a building, you're building a robust IT system. This blueprint helps you navigate the complexities of IT management with confidence. Now, COBIT isn't just some theoretical framework. It's got real-world applications across industries. From healthcare to finance, and from manufacturing to government, COBIT's principles can be applied to enhance IT governance. Whether you're a financial institution, a tech company, or even a government agency, COBIT can help you get your IT house in order. It provides a common language and a set of standards that can be understood and implemented across different sectors. It's all about making sure your IT is firing on all cylinders and supporting your business goals. When your IT systems are aligned with your business objectives, you can achieve greater efficiency and effectiveness. One of the key things that sets COBIT apart is its focus on business value. It emphasizes the importance of ensuring that your IT investments are delivering real measurable benefits to your organization. It's not just about ticking boxes and complying with regulations. It's about making sure your IT investments are actually delivering tangible benefits to your organization. This focus on value creation is what makes COBIT a powerful tool for IT governance. And that's something we can all get behind, right? When your IT is aligned with your business goals and delivering real value, everyone wins. Next up, we've got ISO 27001, the International Standard for Information Security Management. This standard is not just a set of guidelines. It's a comprehensive framework designed to protect your most valuable asset, your data. If COBIT is the strategic mastermind, ISO 27001 is the security guard, the one who makes sure your data is locked down tight. It's the vigilant sentinel that never sleeps, always on the lookout for potential threats. We're talking about things like confidentiality, integrity, and availability. These are the core principles that ensure your data is not just secure, but also reliable and accessible when you need it. ISO 27001 provides a framework for establishing, implementing, maintaining, and continually improving an Information Security Management System, or ISIMS for short. This isn't a one-time setup. It's an ongoing process that evolves with your organization. Think of it like a fortress around your data, with multiple layers of protection to keep the bad guys out. Each layer is meticulously designed to address different types of threats, from physical breaches to cyber attacks. And just like a real fortress, ISO 27001 is built on a solid foundation of risk assessment. This means identifying potential vulnerabilities and threats, and then taking proactive measures to mitigate them. You need to know what you're protecting against before you can build your defenses. This involves a thorough analysis of your organization's unique risk landscape. But ISO 2 7001 isn't just about building walls and setting traps. 
It's also about having a plan for when things go wrong. This includes detailed incident response plans and contingency measures. Because let's face it, in the world of cybersecurity, it's not a matter of if, but when, you'll be attacked. Being prepared for these inevitable incidents is crucial for minimizing damage and recovering quickly. That's why ISO 27001 includes requirements for incident management, business continuity, and disaster recovery. These elements ensure that your organization can continue to operate even in the face of a security breach. So if the worst does happen, you'll be ready to respond quickly and effectively. This readiness can make the difference between a minor hiccup and a major catastrophe. Now, ISO 27001 is a globally recognized standard, which means it carries a lot of weight. Achieving this certification demonstrates your commitment to the highest levels of information security. If you're a business that handles sensitive data, having ISO 27001 certification can give you a competitive edge. It shows that you have robust security measures in place, which can be a significant selling point. It shows your customers, partners, and stakeholders that you're serious about security. In a world where data breaches are all too common, this level of assurance can build trust and confidence in your brand. Finally, we've got NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. This organization has been a cornerstone in the field of cybersecurity, providing guidelines and standards that help protect information systems across various sectors. NIST is kind of like the cybersecurity chameleon, adapting to different environments and situations. Just as a chameleon changes its color to blend into its surroundings, NIST tailors its guidelines to fit the unique needs of different industries and organizations. They've got a whole suite of frameworks and publications covering a wide range of cybersecurity topics. From risk management to incident response, NIST provides comprehensive resources that are invaluable for any organization looking to bolster its cybersecurity posture. But for today, we're going to focus on one of their most popular frameworks, the NIST Cybersecurity Framework, or CSF for short. This framework has gained widespread adoption due to its practical and flexible approach to managing cybersecurity risks. The NIST CSF is a risk-based approach to cybersecurity that's designed to be flexible and adaptable to organizations of all sizes and industries. Whether you're a small business or a large enterprise, the CSF can be tailored to meet your specific needs. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's more like a set of building blocks that you can use to create a cybersecurity program that meets your specific needs. You can pick and choose the elements that are most relevant to your organization, making it a highly customizable framework. The NIST CSF is based on five core functions, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. These functions provide a structured approach to managing cybersecurity risks and ensure that all critical aspects of cybersecurity are addressed. These functions represent the different stages of the cybersecurity life cycle, from understanding your risks to recovering from an incident. By following these stages, organizations can develop a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy that covers all bases. And just like with ISO 27001, risk assessment is a key part of the NIST CSF. Conducting a thorough risk assessment helps organizations identify potential threats and vulnerabilities, allowing them to prioritize their cybersecurity efforts effectively. You need to know what you're up against before you can start building your defenses. Understanding the specific risks your organization faces is crucial for developing effective cybersecurity measures. One of the things that makes the NIST CSF so versatile is that it can be used in conjunction with other frameworks like COBIT and ISO 27001. This interoperability allows organizations to leverage the strengths of multiple frameworks to create a robust cybersecurity strategy. It's not an either-or situation. You can mix and match different frameworks to create a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. By integrating various frameworks, Organizations can address their unique cybersecurity challenges more effectively and ensure a higher level of protection. So, there you have it, folks. A breakdown of three of the most popular IT governance and security frameworks out there. We've got COBIT, the Strategic Mastermind, ISO 27001, the Security Fortress, and NIS, the Cybersecurity Chameleon. Each framework brings its own strengths and weaknesses to the table, so it's important to choose the one that best aligns with your organization's specific needs and goals. Remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all situation. You can even combine elements from different frameworks to create a custom solution that's tailor-made for your organization. The key is to do your research, understand your options, 
and choose the framework that will help you achieve your IT governance and security objectives. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.